Baru Vikings at the Packers. Packers favored by three, even though the Vikings are undefeated. Packers quarterback position, we don't know and we won't know. They'll hold the cards close to the vest because it's two very different approaches with Jordan Love and Malik Willis. As Tony Dungy said earlier on PFT Live, it's actually better for the Vikings to go against Jordan Love than Malik Willis because that that defense that Brian Flores has concocted against West Coast, it, it keeps them confused. Yeah. If it's just going to be run, 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 who cares what they're showing? We're just going to run, and we're going to run it well, and we're going to get you on your heels. So, given that the Packers are three-point favorites, right. given that the Vikings are undefeated, over under 43 and a half, will the Vikings upend the Packers at Lambeau Field to get to 4-0? and Well, do you think the Vikings are going to be able to stop the Packers' run? Right, the Packers have one of the most elite run, or one of the most elite run teams in football right now. Right, that 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 to me is where it is. And then you couple the Malik Willis aspect with it, and I think this is going to teach them something. Even when Jordan Love comes back, they're going to go, wait, wait, maybe we shouldn't be so West Coasty throwing the ball. Maybe it should just be run, play action pass deep, run another deep pass. That's the way they're playing with Malik Willis. They do that with Jordan Love. They just get a little bit more pass happy when he's in the game. And hey, I think this Packers D is real. I do, and I think they they look like it's only going to get better as they continue to understand the Jeff Halfley system. So what do you think? you think your Vikings are going to be able to stop this Packers running game? Week two against the 49ers, every time they gave it to Jordan Mason, he was tearing up right. big chunks. Right. Big chunks. Right. Right? Every single time. It was only when they got away from that that the Vikings were able to slow down drives. Yeah. So I think the Packers will be able to run. And... <sighs> You know, I was going to, I don't know what I'm going to do here. I, I had picked the Packers. Then I went to the, I listen, I'm, I'm staying true to my email. I'm staying true to my email. The, the email controls. I emailed myself. I self emailed myself. Vikings 27, 23. No, no. Look, I, I feel like the Vikings are getting more confident yeah. in themselves. They've right. got some injuries they need to overcome. But they they dodged the bullet with Sam Darnold last week. Darnold has looked good. Justin Jefferson's a little banged up, but they're getting you know Aaron Jones that that emotional factor of Aaron yeah. Jones coming back to Lambeau Field that gives you. them a little bit of a lift. They know about playing there. They're not intimidated by it. I I think the Vikings will pull this one off and get to four and zero. I'm a little nervous about it. Won't be a bet 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 bet. That's how nervous I am. Bet 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 best bet. <laughs> But I'll say 27-23 Vikings. Yeah, okay. All right. I, I, I hear you there. Uh, I, I'm going to go with the Packers here. I'm going to go 23-20 Packers. I think it's going to be a close one, definitely. I think, again, I think the Packers are – we have to start putting them in the category of 49ers, Texans, the top teams in football. I think they're the that good. The two teams good. the Vikings just beat? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. I mean, I'm just, that's what I'm trying to say. I feel like it's like, but, but people will be, when the Vikings were playing them, are going, whoa, this will be a big litmus test if they can beat the Texans, if they can beat the 49ers. And I don't hear that this week. That, that's all I'm saying. You know what I mean? Where I want to say, no, no, no. The Packers are every bit as good as the Texans, and they're every bit as good as the 49ers. This is definitely a team that could be in the NFC Championship game trying to go to the Super Bowl. So that's where I feel like Green Bay is still looking to make noise in the NFC. People are sleeping on them. I'm, I'm, I'm going with them in this one. They're, they're, my, they're my preseason Super Bowl yeah, team. Yeah, me too. I, so I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I, maybe I screwed up and picked the wrong I hope team, so. It's too I late. Hope so. Hands off the checker. Yo, yo, homies. Thanks for watching. Yeah, it's time. The NFL season is here on Chris Sims Unbuttoned. You can hit subscribe to get all the weekly picks, plus our Sunday recaps as the games are happening. Oh, you know it. Nobody does that better than us. Thanks again for watching. Remember to subscribe. Peace out. We'll see you next time on Unbuttoned.